What's up, data people? It is I, Matthew Heffron, and today's quick tutorial is on a word cloud. So, usually I use the sample superstore, but today I thought, hmm, let's use something different. So I found Elon Musk's tweets from like 2010 to 2017. It wasn't in a format I could use, so I used Tableau Prep, which was actually really easy to split the data, pivot the data, get it in a format that I needed. And so if you want to know, stay tuned and we'll find out what Elon Musk tweets about the most. All right, let's jump right into the tutorial. So here's the little dashboard that I built. And you can see right here in the middle, I built this word cloud and it really emphasizes the words that he used the most. So you can see model, Tesla, Tesla motor, SpaceX, Falcon, launch, Dragon. And it was kind of fun because what I did was if you click any of these, let's click launch for instance, it filters his tweets so I can read all the tweets he had with the word launch and same for any of these. So it was kind of fun to go through this and read, read some tweets. But let's jump right into it. How do we build a word cloud? It is super simple. We'll go to this tutorial tab. Let's hit escape. And all you need to do for a word cloud is grab your text and we're gonna drop that on text. And then what you'll do is you'll hold down the command key and we'll drop that on size. And then right click and we'll go to measures and we'll do count. Next thing we're looking at here is we have 11,378 marks. We wanna make this data set a little bit smaller. So what we'll do is we'll hold down the command key again, grab this count, drop it on filters. We're gonna do a count hit next and change this to at least 35 and what we're doing here is we're just looking at words that he's tweeted at least 35 times just making the data set smaller so it's easier to work with so we can hit okay last step here is change it from automatic to text and there you go there you have a word cloud and one of the things we can do here is hold down the command key. If there's certain words, like if there's common words, things that you don't really care to expose, you can go ahead and just very easily go around, give these a click, right click, and then say exclude to create a little filter. If you want, you can hold down the command key, grab this count, drop it on color. I can come up to this word cloud. Another little trick that I like to do is if you already have something formatted, you can come in here and say copy formatting, and then you can say paste formatting. And we can even, if we wanted to change the color, make it look like the other one. And there you have it. Hey guys, thanks for watching that tutorial. If you're finding these helpful, Please subscribe, give this video a like, and in the comments let me know what else you want to see and I'll keep creating these videos. Alright guys, happy vision!